Wow. Oh, wow. It's so right. It's all right. I think we've made it all right. It's white. It's all right. I think we've made it all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the wall, we sorted it. Me and my rainbow assistant, well done, Gemma. She done well. She helped me. Thank you to Gemma. Wonderful rainbow-haired princess. Thank you, Gemma. I can't forget Gemma. And also, a guy called Steve Guy. He's a top guy. Steve, he's a painter and decorator. And I was sending Steve videos and I was basically showing him where I was at and the problem I had. And Steve took his own time to help me do this properly. So Steve Guy is the top guy. Thank you, Steve, for your advice. And I hope I've done it right, me and my rainbow assistant. And thank you to Victor. Because Victor's a true friend and Victor gave me some advice about on wood you need a burner, on a wall you just peel it, and Victor's the top man. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Steve Guy. Thank you to Gemma. Thank you to some other people on Facebook as well, because they gave me advice. So thank you to them people on Facebook, and thank you to everybody else for everything. So at the end of the day, this white wall is all right. And guess what? By using social media in the right way, putting videos up, asking what I need to do to make this corrected, within a couple of days, we got it corrected. And can you tell where that big mark was? It's very hard to tell now. There's a fine line here, but it's only had one coat. A couple of more coats that will evaporate. So thank you everybody for your help. And we have learned how to deal with a wall with air bubbles. We peeled it all off. We PVA'd it. We sandpapered it. And now we're painting it. And that's how to get over a wall with air bubbles in it, part three. Shine on everybody. Shine on.